Today, I am giving you guys the opportunity to come into this transmog competition with one friend and compete as a team of two in the first ever Asmongold EU Alliance duo transmog competition. Last week we did it on Horde and it went very, very well. So today, I have very high hopes that the same thing will happen again. Jesus, man, that, that's so good. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. This is fucking impressive, man. Let's begin right here. Let's start with these two guys right here. Justicar, Justicar, Inquisitor Palanon and Hauser Bane of the Fallen King from European Hell Squad and Companions of the Storm. So these guys are just Guardians of the Light? Is this pretty much what's going on here? So he's got the tier, tier 9 shoulders there, the Tyrannical Gladiator's Helmet, the chest piece from Mythic Tomb, sorry, sorry, Trial of Valor, the belt there from LFR Siege of Orgrimmar, the leggings also from Mythic Trial of Valor, the boots and the gloves there from PvP for uh, the last season of of Legion, and then a sword from the 7th Legion. I'm a captured Death Knight forced to convert to the light. Wait, what? A captured Death Knight forced to convert to the light? Oh. Okay. And he has the sword. Alright. What do you guys think of this? That's a pretty interesting way to look at it. Yeah, alright. All right, let's see what this guy's gear is. So he's got the shoulders and the gloves right there from the Shadowlands uh, pre-order uh, thing. The helmet there from Black Temple. The belt there from Siege of Orgrimmar. The leggings from uh, Throne of Thunder for DKs. So that's the heroic version. The gloves there, sorry, boots there from uh, Nylotha. And the sword from starting as a DK. So I think this is decent. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, the cloak, dude. The cloak, dude. Dude, the cloak! That's good shit, man. That is some good shit. Regardless, this is a really, really, really nice grouping here, guys. Obviously, I like the uh, the story you tell. I think that obviously the other guy being the captor, etc. Uh, I think that this is actually pretty damn good. Nice fucking job, man. Nice fucking job. And uh, what's... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is good, boys. All right. You know what? They're both on their mounts. I'm impressed by this. Why didn't he capture a furry? Well, yeah, I think this is okay, man. Yeah, he's a captured Death Knight forced to serve the light. Uh, I think this looks really, really good, man. Good thought. Yeah, this is a very, very good uh, good combination here. And uh, I like the story it tells. It just set the tone. Yeah, it sets the fucking tone. Exactly. All right, let's go to the next one. Cause like I think the mounts really set the tone much more than the uh, than the armor does. Esteem, Halibel, and Justify. We were the ones in the remaking heroes that defeated Argus the Unmaker and stayed behind with Illidan to watch over Sargeras. We have now returned to Azeroth to check on Cthune after Sargeras has stabbed the planet with his sword. Well, how's Cthune doing? Wargid. How's Cthune doing? Don't know, he didn't answer my calls. Okay, dude. Okay. Also, I'm not a I'm not a copy, I'm Craggate from last week chat. Okay, yeah, I see that. Yeah, you were standing, um, you were right over you were standing right there last week. So he has come back. Alright, so let's see what he's got here. So this is obviously the uh the same set that he had on last week. And um let's see what else is this. This is also, I kind of like this one right here. What do you guys think about this? Fuck Wargate? Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, this is basically the same fucking thing. I'm trying to remember, like, what what the other guy was. I don't remember it really all that well. I remember those guys almost won, but I forgot, like, what his set was. I really like the cloak a lot. The cloak looks really fucking good. So, like, the Argus Scythe does look really, really badass. And having these guys be kind of like celestial keepers, I think is pretty interesting, man. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. 
Stop dancing, Spurt. They don't match. I feel like they do match in terms of theme, but like the armor doesn't match like incredibly well in the same way that it did last time. Uh, I don't know if this is really going to be a winner or not, but I do think that the idea is pretty cool, and I always like it whenever people come in with these sets that do tell a certain degree of a story, and I think that's interesting, man. Yeah, they lack synergy. I don't think the synergy is that great, but at least they're doing pretty well, and I'll commend them for that, okay? It, it's not absolutely fucking terrible. I'll say that for sure. Uh, do we for any dumpsters? Uh, they're not dumpsters, all right, guys? Nice try. Good job. We'll go on to the next one, okay? Good job, guys. Damn. Look at this. Are these like the guardians of Theramore? Wait, oh, they're crusaders? Look at this guy's gear. So that sword right there is one of the, uh, uh what, what sword is that from? Oh, fuck, dude. I'm, I'm trying to remember which one that's from. It's from somewhere, I think, like Burning Crusade or something. Those shoulders there are Burning Crusade crafting. That helmet right there. Oh, that helmet with the, dude, the helmet with the shoulders? is so good dude that helmet is from emerald nightmare that's the class order hall gloves and legs there and also boots the belt right there from tier 14 set the tabard of theramore the crest of Wardron that comes from malganus and the calling of strathlum and then also which cloak is this this is the vicious gladiators cloak from season 9 in cataclysm this is a really really nice set now let's go ahead and look at the next one uh crest of Wardron and uh on shield and banner yeah this is fucking good so what about this one right here? Can I throw them? Yeah, I always say it weird. Okay, uh, so you got, uh, obviously, same tabard there. That chest piece there underneath is the 7th Legion chest piece. Uh, the shoulders there are from the Mythic Antorus set. And then the helmet there is, of course, from Island Expeditions. The weapon is from the uh, 7th Legion set. The leggings are from Mythic Antorus as well. And those boots right there are the Eternal Traveler's boots that drop from the uh, Shadowlands pre-order. So um, I like this a lot. I really do. This looks good. This looks really, really good. What do you guys think? I'm impressed. Like, I'm straight up fucking impressed. I think this looks really good. How do you know all that? I just know it, man. Well, regardless, um, this set does look really, really... Oh, dude. Bro, that looks fucking amazing. Holy shit, dude. The glow on the shoulders with the mount? Jesus, man. That, that's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. This is fucking impressive, man. The other guy too? Yeah, this is fucking amazing. I love this. This is really, really impressive here, okay? Uh, Luxurious? Um, what's this here? Uh, what was in Pathwife scaling us? Yeah, well, regardless, this is really, really fucking good. And so, uh, let's see here. I think this also looks very good as well. And uh, let's see, they both nailed it? Yeah, I would say so, absolutely. These are fucking amazing. This isn't exactly what I would like to see, man. Well, insane mounts. Yeah, these mounts, like this mount, this is probably one of the coolest mount combinations I've ever seen. This is fucking amazing, Gale. Great job. Let's go to the next one. Say annex the Darkener. And uh, Mirazas the Love Pool. I really, really like this set. This is probably one of my favorite Dwarf Hunter sets that I've ever seen. Like, no joke. Like, this is fucking incredible. Like, this is, I mean, like, yeah, we've got almost full set Andy over here, right? This is really, really cool. Actually, this isn't even really a full set, is it? It's just the chest piece, the gloves, and, sorry, the legs, and uh, the chest. I'm sorry, and shoulders. I don't know. Like, this is... Like, I, I, I've got to say, like, the dwarf is better, right? This is fucking amazing, dude. Dude, these guys take transmog seriously. Dude, they're so serious about it. Oh, my God. I, I'm actually really impressed by how well they've done here. This is really, really well done. Okay, let's go up to the next one here. So, we've got this one. And what about this one here? Say X Darkener. Which one do you guys like the most? Or, sorry, not which one out of these two. But do you guys like this a lot? I, I think it looks really, really good. Like, this is the dwarf? Yeah, yeah. Well, I like the dwarf more, too. But as a combo, I don't really know, like, how much... Oh. Damn. 
Dude, those mounts complement each other so fucking well. They complement each other so fucking well, man. Like, I don't even know what to say. It's so clean. It's so fucking good, man. I absolutely love it. Yeah, great fucking job, man. Cool as fuck, Renegades. Yeah, this is really, really well done. Like, I'm already seeing a number of groups that I think are going to probably hit the top five. Like, I'm really impressed by this. This makes me worry. Like, if I go back to NA, dude. Oh, man. Like, NA had better get this right. Like, NA, like, I, I swear to God, dude. If they don't, if they don't get it right, I will be pissed. Yeah, you guys really, really need to get your shit together, bro, okay? Let me say that for sure. Yeah, this is really, really well done. Great fucking job, guys. Great fucking job. I absolutely love this guy's armor, man. Everything about this set is fucking uh, amazing. I love it. Where's the next one? What is this? This is a 10-second setup. We're supposed to be light and darkness combined to save Azeroth. Well, can he save the pixel count on his armor? How about that? So we've got, obviously... So this is like if they took Malfurion and Illidan and they made them the same character. This is pretty much what it is. Like, you take Malfurion and Illidan, and it's like some kid, it's like, you know, they do a fucking fusion together, and this is what you get out of it right here. And uh, obviously, he has these completely, you know, oversized fucking swords. This right here, I, I don't think this is light and darkness combined to save Azeroth. This is, um... This is dog and shit combined to lose the tournament. Okay? That's basically what it is. I'm sorry to say. Uh, it's just not very good. I, I think that uh, we failed you. Well, I will say, I think this transmog is very good, but I think the weapons don't really match at all, even though they match the color theme. Because you have such a druidic set, there's no way that these gigantic swords make any sense inside of your set. But your set does look really good, and I like it a lot. That's so harsh. Well, sometimes you have to let them know. This set is just not good at all. There's nothing good about it at all. It just sucks. Um, yeah, better luck next time, man. Better luck next time. They don't even have a guild. That's right. And they don't even have a transmog either. Better luck next time. I'm I'm sorry. What is this? Jezu, the Light of Dawn. And Exodir, the Darkening. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? What is this supposed to be? I don't know if I like this. Yeah, I don't- I really don't know if I like this at all. I think this is shit too? I don't think it's that great. I mean, dark and ice? Dark and ice? I mean, like, it, how is it dark if you're wearing the tabard of the fucking Lightbringer? I mean, does that make a whole lot of sense to you, man? How's it dark if you're wearing the tablet of the Lightbringer? And obviously, I think that, like, using the Season 1 Warrior gear, the, the, uh, at the beginning of BC, like, the gloves, the legs, and the boots there, that's really cool. I like that. But overall, this isn't dark and light. This is just fucking... It just sucks. Like, both these just suck. Like, I'm sorry, random... No, it's not a randomized button. It's a randomized button with one color theme, okay? So, we had five minutes. Well, you should have taken ten. Yeah, I mean, it should have taken 10. I mean, there's nothing else really to say about that, man. Should have done both. Yeah, dog and shit. Okay, dude, we've already done that one. We can't call it dog and shit every single time, okay? I I've got to spread out the insults and make sure that we go from one thing to another, you know? Uh, that's the way it has to work. All right, let's go on to the next one, okay? Yeah, trash and can. Okay, dude. What the fuck? Hi, hi, Asmongold. Ben and Daniel, holy crusaders from Ghostlands. We are here to bring awareness to the state of Rep Paladins in Shadow. How are they doing? How how are Rep Paladins doing in Shadowlands, guys? I'm actually curious. I I, I haven't heard anything about that, so I, I figured maybe you could cue me in and uh, you know give me an idea of what to expect. 
So we've got uh, we got both of these guys. They're both using Corium Champion, which is a blacksmithing sword that you get from uh, Burning Crusade. Uh, the shoulders right there, are the uh, the PvP shoulders from uh, Vanilla WoW. Chest piece there is tier one for Paladins, and also so are the legs. The boots there, and also the boots for both of them, and also the legs are from the uh, I think the Blood Scale set. And uh, then the tabard. I don't know what tabard that is. I think that's a guild tabard. I'm not even sure. What do you guys think about this one? Yeah, what are, what are your thoughts on this one, gentlemen? I'm a little bit confused. Ambiguously gay duo? I don't think that they're gay. There's nothing about them that says gay, but I think it's pretty decent. Too similar. Ying and Yang, Ying and Dang. I feel like, okay, so the Death Knight one is a little bit awkward. It's a little bit, oh. Ah! I don't know, guys. I don't know. It's just like, it's not the, yeah, one of them's not a paladin. It's a DK, right? But I, I think it's okay. I, I think Ben's set is okay. Daniel's set is decent too. I like the tabard. I think the tabard looks really good. But overall, I don't think the sets are really that decent. I, I really, the main thing that I like about this is the color theme, okay? Uh, I really think the color theme for this is incredibly well done. But outside of the color theme, I don't think there's a whole lot going on. Should have broken, took it out the mount. Yeah, the lion isn't that great. I don't think the lion makes any sense either. I've always thought the lion was a dog shit mount, personally. Jesus Christ. Okay. There it is. Okay, guys, we get it. So uh, this is a decent looking set. I think it's fine, but it's nothing that I would get super excited over or anything like that. Uh, I think whenever you want to go with sets like this where you're trying to look exactly the same, it's a little bit awkward whenever you know that like there's certain items that you can't use for both of you, but you're trying to use, like with the, uh, the crown or something like that. So Daniel just looks like a scuffed bin, basically. Because, like, Ben has, like, the really cool crown. Daniel has the little, like, you know, brownish piece of shit on his head. And uh, it doesn't really look as good. So, yeah, he looks like a scuffed Ben. That's pretty much what it is. So, uh, I think we'll have to see something else and something a little bit better than that. Okay, man? What do you guys think? Yeah, it's the heroic set versus the mythic set. I like that. What do you guys think? Six out of six or five out of ten. All right. Oh, wow. Sice the Kingslayer and Associate Professor Devarin. This is clean. This is so fucking clean. This is so fucking clean. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, I'm really impressed by this. It's so good. Yeah, from Borderlands? I don't really know. Like, especially, like, I mean, look at this guy's armor. Like, everything about it just fits together so well. Like, the chest piece is so good. The Illidan... Oh, they're both using Illidan daggers. Whole Dude, look at that cloak. Holy shit, look at that cloak. Guys, look at that cloak, guys. Right there. That's a nice-looking cloak. Holy shit, man. I'm really impressed by this. A and even this one here... Like, this fucking dude, this is just nothing... The, the thing with this set, dude, is there's nothing wrong with it. Like, there's nothing I can say about the set that's like, oh, well, you should have used this or you should have used that. Like, these are just so fucking cleanly well put together. It's like these guys are the guy, These guys are the guys that show up into your camp 20 years after the fucking nuclear holocaust, and they show up, and, and they're looking for food. And they're like travelers, and they're just riding around. Like, that's basically what's going on here. They're like post-apocalyptic travelers. This is really, really well done. Uh, I like it a lot. Great fucking job. Yeah, some Mad Max shit going on. Not really Mad Max, but almost, okay? Uh, the belt. I think the belt's completely fine. I like the belt. Because the belt's very subtle in the same way that all the rest of his pieces are subtle. What the fuck? What the f I don't even know what to think. The raptor is completely out of the raptor is completely out of place, okay? Like let's be honest, the raptor is 150, 155, by 200 percent out of fucking place. There is no reason for him to have the raptor on, okay? 
Uh, that does yeah. That, why didn't you just get on that? That's a thousand times better. Holy, that, uh, misclick? Okay, well, regardless, how, you, how do you misclick and not change it for 20 seconds, though? Uh, I, I don't know. Like, it, it's hard to say if that's a misclick. Because, like, it doesn't make sense that he would have all of the rest of this, like, so well put together and then just get on the raptor. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, or an irradiated lizard? I don't know. What What do you guys think? Yeah, you guys think no placing? Uh... All right, I, I'll, he said it was a misclick and because it matches his the rest of his set so well, I kind of want to give it to him because everything else matched so fucking well. I don't know, like making an exception for this is kind of hard for me to do, but it does seem like it was a misclick based off of how well everything else was coordinated. And so there's some plausible deniability there. Give it to him? I think we should probably give it to him. I think this combination is fucking amazing. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Yeah, allow it. I think, yeah, we'll allow this one for now, okay, guys? Uh, I, I really, really like this a lot. This is fucking amazing. Like, really, really good job, man. Really, really good job. Okay, so that's the Kingslayer and Javara. Nice fucking job, boys. Very proud of you. Let's go to the next one. Agrox and Commander Galithia. Hi, Asmund. I came here with my pet. During the night, I'm with them. During the day, I'm a commander of the Argent Crus- What the fuck? What's this sin- this- What is he doing? What are you doing? Oh my god, Agrox and Galithia, what the fuck? This is- it's like- What's going on? What is go what is this? All right, let's go ahead. We're going to relax here. Now, let's be honest. This tells a story that we've never heard before. Uh, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but it tells a story that we haven't heard before. And uh Spank Master, yo, chill out. Get out of the fucking screen. Like, what do you got to get your fucking two cents in here? Stop. Um yeah, get out of the fucking way. Um look at this. Do you guys like it? I kind of do. Like, it's a certainly, uh, it's a very unique... Let's just say we've never seen this before, okay? Like, I'm just gonna stop it right there, and I will say we have never fucking seen this one before. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast? Uh, actually, that does kind of work because he has antlers on him? Yeah, that does make sense. I actually kind of like this. Yeah, it's decent enough, man. Definitely unique. Yeah, I would say so. I feel like it is gonna, I mean, like if we have a simp set winning, I, I don't know if people are gonna be okay with that, but I'll have to say like cool concept. Yeah, this is a really cool concept. It's very original and we've never seen somebody take this approach before. So overall, I would say that I'm impressed. Yeah, I, I would say it's, a, yeah, it's, this is really good. Nice fucking job, guys. Great fucking job. Some people are a little bit unhappy about the, uh, about the subject matter here. But I think overall, duty calls. That's good. That's really good, dude. That's really, really good. This is the wait. Some guy says this is the most alliance transmog comp I've ever heard. I've never, I've ever seen. Wait, holy sh! They're. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, why didn't you guys come in like this? Yo, why the fuck didn't you guys come in like this? This is fucking badass! Holy shit, this is fucking awesome! God damn! Yeah, fucking Spar- yeah, Spartacus! Jesus, didn't want to beat everyone? Alright, well, I, yeah, I really appreciate that. Gee, that is so fucking good, man. That is really fucking good. All right, let's go on to the next one. 
This is our individual transmog here. How rich. They kicked me out of Castle Nathria. He was too metal for Castle Nathria. This set actually looks very nice. That chess piece right there is the uh, Gladiator's version of the Season 1 PvP gear uh, that's available for only DKs. That shoulders right there and also the belt is from Throne of Thunder Normal Mode for DKs. The helmet is from uh, Garrowan and Heart of Fear on Heroic. Uh, the weapon, of course, is the Artifact Weapon. Uh, the gloves there are from Naxxramas 25 Man. Uh, the leggings here are from, I don't even know where the leggings are from, and the boots are from a dungeon in Warlords of, Dr sorry, Wrath of the Lich King. And I think specifically those boots are from on Keep, but I could be wrong about that. Regardless, this set does actually look really good. The Spartans misclicked their set. Well, they should have, dude. This looks way fucking better. Yeah, look at that. Now they've got both. That's so cool, dude. Like, I, what are you guys doing? They, they opened up with the worst set possible. I don't understand. God, dude, I feel so bad for these guys. They came in here with an amazing fucking set. They had an amazing fucking set and they had to start it off with something terrible. Regardless how rich, this is a decent looking set, okay? This is good. And of course, you're going to get on Midnight. What a surprise. Uh, I don't think the color theme really matches perfectly and so I'm not a big fan of it, but it looks okay. Good job, Hellrich. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hi, Asmon. We're the Burly Brothers. We raid tombs and enjoy bread. Lots of bread. He takes the gold. I fight the threats in the tombs. And I take their loot. Burl Thandor and Burl Wall. Damn. That's actually really badass. That's cool. So, all right, all right. Just for everybody that doesn't know, right? Those shoulders right there, I think, came from Legion. I'm not 100% for... Actually, no. Those those shoulders are the male version of the shoulders that drop in uh, Zul'dazar. And then the helmet there comes from Legion. The chest piece there comes from the Isle of Kaldanas. We're getting exalted with the Shattered Sun. The belt there comes from... Uh, that's Blackrock Foundry, uh, I think, heroic or normal mode belt uh, for hunters. Uh, the leggings here and also the gloves and the uh, boots here are all from the Trial of Valor set. And then over here, you've got this warrior. Actually, Wait. This chess piece. This is the chess piece from... This is the chess piece from the rare spawn world boss. It only is up during the nether. It's it's a Sivash's chess piece that I've been going after for fucking months. And this guy has it. This halfway makes me mad and halfway impresses me. Yeah, it took me ages to get. Yeah, it's a really nice chess piece, man. Yeah, yeah, dude. He's fucking got the... He's got the chest piece that I don't fucking have, man. And then, obviously, Warden's Tabard. Those shoulders right there are Tusk of Manorot. The gloves and the belt right there. Sorry, the gloves and the legs there are the uh, the Battle of Tsar War set. Belt there comes from Mythic Gilganoth and Emerald Nightmare. And also, the boots there come from... I think that is... Uh, is that what? I forgot exactly where those boots are from. But... um, And then, of course, the uh, helmet is the Cataclysmic Gladiator's helmet. And the shield is the... Yeah, BRF boots. Oh, yes! These are the BRF boots. These are the fucking Paladin Offset boots. And those boots, yeah. Okay, I got it now. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this set? I think it's really good. I'm gonna be honest. I, I think this is really, really good. And now, of course, our beat... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Stampeding the fuck out of everyone. All right, guys. All right. That is actually, like, really, really, really fucking good. I, I, I really like the way these look. I, I think this is incredibly well done. The mogs are dog shit. 
Well, it's not just so basically they're like you're rating them in a different way than you would rate normal trans mugs. So like so basically for I don't know, like I don't want to explain like the whole fucking my, my whole like philosophy around this. OK, like so basically it's so the trans mug has like a one to ten scale. And then you have, yeah, it's, it's just, like, I, I, think, I think this out, okay? Like, there, there is a very, very complicated grading scale that I put into play in order to make the right and most equivalent and uh, fair decisions possible. This is a great set. We like it a lot. And I also really like the weapons here. These weapons, I didn't even see them before. This is fucking amazing. Like, this is actually fucking amazing. Look at the weapons here. So this weapon is a normal mode old deer fist weapon, and it goes right into this glove right here. Yeah, this is the normal mode fist weapon for all deer. And then this weapon that has a different color of, uh, of hand here also is a different colored axe that drops from the Zuldazar world quest. This is really, really good. Like, I, I, I've never seen somebody do this before, ever, in a competition. This is the first ever time that I see somebody do this. This is fucking great. This is so fucking good, man. Uh, I like it a lot, man. Is be off I say a good story, good enough transmog? Yeah, I like this a lot. Great fucking job, boys. Amazing fucking job. I am very impressed. Very proud of you. Good work. What the hell is this? Thalaria the Kingslayer and Joris the Lightbringer. Horus was once a king of human kingdom and Tyrson. As a testament of my vampire's nation's total victory over humans, he is now my thrall. He serves me using the power of the light against his own people, representing the supremacy of darkness over light. He's not a simp. He, uh, no, it's like a, she's like a vampire. She took control of him. Like, she, like, mind control him, man. Get up, Horus, introduce you. Wait, what the f God bless the United States of... Oh, I mean my life for Korean Thrillia. This is pretty good. Yeah, I, I like it. I mean, in terms of, like, a vampire transmog, you don't really have a lot of options here, okay? Uh, the swords are the only real items that have, like, weird, like, fucking vampiric things on them hardly. So it's very hard to do this, and I think the crown does very well. That's the crown that comes from Opulence and uh, uh, Battle of Tsar Lore. Shoulders there, Tier 14 Heroic DK. Shoulders, Chest Piece, Tier 14 Heroic Warrior. That belt right there is the uh, offset belt for Warrior Tier 4 gear. Leggings there come from the Valor Vendor and Miss of Pandaria. Boots there come from the Tier 14 Warrior, sorry, DK set. And then those bracers there are actually the, uh, those are the starting level green bracers that you're able to get from the cataclysm uh, uh, trash mobs in Hygel. So, uh, or actually anywhere, any level 80 mob uh, that's from Hygel. Yeah, these are really, really good. And uh, this warrior's gear. Th so, obviously, I think that the... Um, Let's go. Look at them right there, dude. Look at them right there. The chonky boys are just going at it. Oh, well, anyway, um, I, I do really think the uh, uh, the female set looks really, really good. Now, for Loris's set, the uh, the fallen human king. What do you guys think about this? Oh, I just noticed. Look at this. He has the corrupted effect on him. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. Holy shit, man. Loris, nice fucking job. Like, this is really, really well done. Oh, my God. Yeah, it was, what's this here? Uh, he was forced to wear a cowl. Yeah, I, I, I like that a lot. Um, I'm not saying that it's amazing. Like, obviously, this set sucks. This is an objectively terrible set, okay? Like, this mace right here, this is the mace that drops from, uh, is this the last boss of, uh, of Prince Malchazar? Uh, I, I don't really remember exactly, but I think that it is. And uh, the shield, obviously, this is the Blackrock Bulwark that comes from uh, Warlords of Draenor. And uh, chess piece here is the, uh, that's the elite, or not elite, but that's like the, uh, yeah, it is the elite 7th uh, Legion chess piece. Uh, many of the other pieces we've seen before, too. I think this is a great combination, guys. This is a great fucking combination. I like it a lot. She forced him to use a shit mog. Okay, dude, now we're getting into the meta here. Oh, no.
We're just never going to be able to get away from this, are we? Doesn't matter how many fucking months or anything, dude. It's just, it's a dead meme. Well, she's a vampire, so she's like halfway dead already. So it makes sense. And uh, now the meme is that it is a dead meme, okay? Like, it just, it never dies. I, I, I don't understand. Yeah, it just makes no fucking sense. It still fits it relatively, it fits relatively well. Yeah, good job, guys. It, it could be a little bit more, uh, uh, you know, a little bit better on the, uh, on the Warriors gear. But overall, I like the story. I think it's good. Let's go. Wait, another one? What is this, Simp Central? Holy shit, guys! Finally! Wait, what are you doing? Finally what? My great project is complete. Wait. Soon the Horde will kneel before the might of my robotic army? Okay, that's fucking amazing. That's... Okay, that... Okay. Alright. Okay, that's... That's... Okay. That's really fucking good, man. That is really, really, really fucking good. Okay, so this is obviously like a, um, like an engineer. And, uh, that, dude, the fucking face mask and, like, how... Dude, this is so good. There's literally no skin showing at all on this character. I guess I get with the neck, but you can't really do anything about that. But overall, there's, like, no skin showing at all. This is fucking perfect, man. Like, and this actually does look like a robot warrior. And I, I think my favorite part about this is the fact that he combined the old deer LFR helmet there with the shoulders from... Is that the Furious Gladiator shoulders for DKs? Uh, is that, yeah, Furious Gladiator Shoulders for DKs. Extremely rare item. Very, like, we've never probably seen these shoulders in, like, 10 years, man. Uh, yeah, this is extremely fun. Is it Old Deer Heroic? Oh, it is Old Deer Heroic? Is it? I, I don't know. I thought it was Heroic. I thought it was LFR. But regardless, um, this is really, really fucking good. This is amazing. And then you've got this one right here as the engineer. Holy shit. Eratua and Marua. What do you guys think about this? This is a great fucking combination, man. Like, whenever I see this, I I'm fucking impressed. Like, I, I really think they did a good job at this. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And they've got themselves the Mechagon mounts, too. Yeah, that is really fucking good, man. Nice job, guys. Really, really nice job. This is heavy shit. This is big shit, guys. I really like it a lot. This comp will be hard to decide. Yeah, I, I don't, dude, I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I actually don't even know what I'm going to be able to do. Like, I can't even fucking think of, like, what are we going to even pick up? Like, these guys are so fucking good. Everybody wins, not everybody. But, um, almost everybody has a really, really great set. Uh, I'm super impressed by this. Like, the story and, like, having the anvil from behind and, like, looking at the perspective from the anvil. Dude, that is so clean, man. That is so fucking clean. Like, I, I, I'm very impressed by this. Great fucking job. I, I swear, like, NA, dude, NA, I swear, guys, if you guys don't have sets that are this good, I'm going to mauled out. All right? I'm going to mauled out if you guys don't have it. All right, let's go to the next one here. We'll see what they have for us. What is this, a circus act? Leva the Cursed and Korostov, both from The Cursed. Okay. So it's a Dark Moon set. We have never seen a Dark Moon set before. This is not, not once have we ever seen a Dark Moon set. This is an actual circus, okay? Usually we talk about circuses and we mean people like, uh, you know, some of the guys over there, you know? But this is actually a circus and it's really good. So they even have like the little, uh, the little pet monkey. What do you guys think? Yeah, legit clowns. Well, not legit clowns, but, um, you know, you guys know what I'm saying. Um, what is this here? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow. This is really, really good, man. Holy shit, it's an actual fucking Dark Moon set. 
have we ever seen a Dark Moon set before in the entire competition? So I also really love the fact that the uh, mage is using the staff from the hidden artifact appearance for the uh, arcane weapon. I love that fucking staff. I think it's one of my favorite ones ever. Yeah, this is the first time we've ever seen this. And I think the colors fit really well together. And what really impresses me about this the most is that they have these colors and these sets that fit and they look exactly like they would look if they were NPCs in the Dark Moon Fair. But there isn't a set that really is in the game that tells you, oh, this is the Dark Moon Fair set. So they just match this to make it perfect. I, I, I think this is really good. Like, I'm going to be 100% real with you guys. I think this is really, really, really fucking good. I am super impressed by this. I think this is one of the uh, the best sets that we've seen so far. Check the pet. Oh, it's just a monkey here. Uh, it's not really too uh, too exciting. Yeah, it's just a fucking monkey. Uh, purple equals win. Uh, in this case, it might be. Uh, I really like this a lot. What do you guys think? Opinions from the chat? Yeah, I really, really think this is good. You guys did an incredible job. Uh, I am genuinely... Oh. Oh, and for my next trick. Look at that. Damn, dude. That's really fucking badass. Yeah, this is... I, I'm, I'm very impressed by this. Great fucking job, boys. Like, a actually great fucking job. Let's go to the next one. EU transmog police reporting for duty. I've caught an NA spy trying to disrupt the transmog competition. He's not only using a full set, but he also wears a misfit. I fear not, I'll keep- Oh my god! Oh, dude! Oh, fuck, man, that is so good! I, I don't even- Dude, how am I ever gonna pick these? This is so fucking perfect, man. This is one of the best ones you've ever had. Oh my god. I I'm actually so fucking impressed right now, man. Holy shit. This is so creative and so well done. I I'm, I'm just fucking amazed. What the fuck? Best comp ever? Yeah, this is so meta. And so this is a fucking... Dude, because I saw this, and the first thing I thought of, I was like, ah, shit, it's a fucking Firelands Andy. You know, a fucking Firelands Andy here. And then, big fan since following you on YouTube, since you were able to solo the Lich King, following you on YouTube on Twitch. That was like fucking 10 years ago. That was a long time ago. The creativity. What's creative and meta? Is this the first time in history they have a top 10 instead of top 5? I'll pick a top 5, because if we have a top 10, that's like literally like half of the group, okay? Yeah, it's half of the fucking group. This is, yeah, a full set was used in his favor. I don't, I don't even know what to say, man. Like, I, I, I'm honestly fucking, like, ditch the NA comps. Well, we have to give them a chance, okay, guys? We have to give them a chance, at least. See, I thought he was NA, well, see, he said he was EU police. But then I thought to myself, I was like, wait, how is he EU police whenever he has one of these? How does this work? You know, like, it's usually, you know, don't they just, like, they, they're just, like, they're, like, stop, and then, like, the criminal's like, oh, I'm sorry, sir, do I have to go to jail now? And then they just go to jail. And so, like, I, I was thinking, I was like, wait, wait a minute, like, how does this work? That, that's how it is, right? Okay, yeah, I thought so. And so, yeah, this is clearly not what it is. No, we don't. That's in the UK? Yeah, whatever. That's in the UK? Yeah, well... Uh, yeah, there's no crime over in Europe, okay, guys? Uh, no crime at all. Uh, regardless, I think this is, uh, this is fucking amazing. Like, it's actually fucking really, really, really fucking good, dude. I don't know what else to say about it besides that. Really fucking good. What is this? Fire Lord Zally. Men of Herald of the Titans, both from Don't Nerf Rogues. I'm the apprentice of Argus the Unmaker, and I wiped on Agrimar for too long. Well, I can see that because you don't even have Tashalak. So we've got scuffed Agrimar. Wait, this is so good. These are low budget Halloween costumes for Agrimar and Argus the Unmaker. It's like, you know, whenever you have like the guys that show up to the different Halloween events and they like, you know, they can't afford an actual costume. So they just put on a bunch of different clothes randomly. 
This is basically it. Yeah, this is like this is scuffed cosplay. Wait, oh they have mounts? Oh no. Oh no. What is this gonna this is so stupid. Oh wait, wait a second. Wait, who has mounts? Yeah, no, the police set mounts? No, they'll get on the mounts if they if they have mounts. Like, not everybody has mounts, okay guys? Um, yeah, not everybody has mounts. Oh. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, these are 100% scuffed Agrimar and scuffed Argus. What do you guys think about this one? Uh, I, I think this is good. Like, this is really, really well done. Uh, it, it, it's fucking fun. Like, these are like meta transmogs. That's what I like about them so much. Is that these are like fucking, like, like third, like four dimensional meta transmog ideas. These guys are literally fucking scuffed Agamar and scuffed Argus. Showing up to a Halloween party late, drunk as fuck. And they don't even have a costume. They just put on some clothes that they had in the closet that just vaguely match the character that they're trying to look like. This is so, so well done. Yeah, we've got here Molten Corgi. Yeah, we've got the little pets too. I see that. This is really, really good, man. Little Asmod dancing? I don't look like this. What do you mean? Yeah, why the fuck would I look like that? Well, anyway, this is really, really great. I bet they don't think they're scuffed. Okay, well, they're scuffed, all right? They're definitely scuffed. Oh, the other one? Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, anyway, these guys did really well. I like it a lot, okay? Great fucking job, man and Zally. Uh, I really, really like this. I'm very proud of you. You're good boys. You're eternal champions. Let's go to the next. Dude, I don't know how. How are we going to pick a top 10 or top 5? How are we going to do it? I don't even, dude. I'm going to have to channel my fucking... Uh, man, this is gonna be so hard. Top seven? No, we can't do top seven. We're gonna do top. We'll do top five, okay? And if there's a group that I feel like is just so good they can't not be in the top five, I'll give them a, a tying for five pl or for fifth place, okay, guys? Top seven? That's like 14 people. That's like a third of the uh, people in here get get picked. I think that's too many, man. It's a special edition day. Yeah, this is fucking impressive, man. Honorable mentions. Oh, there will be honorable mentions. Absolutely. Anyway, I think this is very clever. Let's go on to the next one. Praise Nazan. Professor Pure and Good and Assistant Professor Zanta. So Zanta, what are you supposed to be? Let's see how this set is. Um, Pack the Mule Slave? What the fuck? That's not even a mule. It's not even a mule. That's a fucking BFA pre-order mount. That's, that's not even a mule. Okay. So. I'm going to be honest, guys. We've had a lot of really, really, really good contestants here. Now, if this was an NA transmog comp, you guys would be vying for first place. But it's not. These sets are not that great. Sir, I have to remind you again, I'm your assistant. Okay, dude. Listen, these are decent, all right? Uh, I'm not saying this is a bad set. I'm not saying this is, uh, you know, badly designed or anything like that. But I do think that it's not really that great, okay? Like, I, I think it's just an average you know just you know run of the mill set that we've seen a bunch of times before and i'm just not really that impressed by it okay uh you changed them out oh that was going to tell the truth wait you're be i'm being nice well no what i'm saying is like yeah this is okay right it's, it's okay it's not terrible i mean like the assistant's gear sucks uh, this one is cool though uh the the dwarf's gear is cool uh, but yeah i mean sure like uh, to a certain degree it's not terrible, but it's not that good. Yeah, it's okay, not great. Yeah, I think this is completely fair. All right, let's go on to the next one. Oh. Oh. Artemis, Vengeance Incarnate, and Salus, Vengeance. Holy shit. 
Holy shit, these are good. BC, best expansion. Then why do you only have one piece of gear from BC? Or actually, sorry, two pieces of gear from BC. Actually, I don't know. What, what's this chess piece here? What, what is this chess piece? Uh, Cindercloth Best. I don't even know where the fuck that's from. Regardless, um, these are really, really good sets. Like, that, dude, the coloration on this is so fucking well done, man. This is so fucking well done. Now, I know, I know, I know chat likes this a lot. But they like it for all the wrong reasons. Okay, guys? It's tailoring. Yeah, I think it's the, um... The cinder cloth is like that's a fire damage set, right? I I don't know. I, was that I, I, was that like BC? I don't remember. It was a long time ago. Uh, check the cloak. Okay, all right. Let's look cloaks. Um, uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is just like actually that cloak does look really fucking nice. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, yeah, I, I like it a lot. Uh, what do you guys think? What's the next one here? Oh yeah, both of these are the same cloaks. I feel like this is really really clean. Like, so this set doesn't really... There's no, like, really story to this or anything like that. But I'm very impressed with this Demon Hunter transmog here. Like, this set looks fucking awesome. I love it, man. I absolutely fucking love it. And, um, I, I think this could be, uh... This could actually be a top top five. What do you guys think? Is this a top five? I, I don't know. No? I, I don't know. Like, so, okay... So the sets are, the sets complement each other very, very well, okay? So this is like the, uh, it's like, no, but thick? Yeah, of course, of course that. But overall, I think this is just really, really good. Honorable mention, no way on earth. Well, we've got a lot of tough competition. You're right about that. So we'll see if we have anything else. But overall, I think these are really, really well done. Chat wants creative. Yeah, I think so, but this is clean, okay? And I think you can respect something that's just put together very, very well and is completely fucking clean, which I think this is very, very fucking clean at, okay? Uh, this song is weird. I'm going to change it. Give me a second. Let me go on to the next one. Okay. Yeah. It's a bit much. All right, yeah, the, the weird-ass fucking sounds was too much, dude. Okay, yeah, I, I, I like this a lot. Good job, boys or girls. Probably guys. Tom Pierre the Eternal and Rudy the Uncorrupted from the Guild's Profession Thieves. So this actually does... This actually does a much better job at being an exhaust set than the other one. Oh, shit. Dread Flame on the weapons. Okay. Okay, dude. All right, let's see. So what do you guys think? Do you like it? I think this is really good. Shout out to the Blasters from Progression Thieves. Well, I think this is great, man. What do you guys think? Yeah, this is really, really good. Count the eyes. Okay, all right, we'll count the eyes here. Um, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So this set has 22 eyes. Check the pets. Polska, I don't know what the fuck Polska Goram is. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, all right. This guy does Mythic Nazoth. That's impressive. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. Great fucking job, guys. What do you guys think? What do you like? I don't know. What What does that mean? I don't understand. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I think this is really, really good. Uh, this set is fucking clean. Look at this Warlock's gear right here. I mean, this is really, really well put together. It's a Polish meme. Oh, okay, I get it. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, this is really, really good. And let's go ahead and we'll look at the next one. Yeah, this is really, really nice. Now, obviously, like a lot of the Nazoth transmogs, I think to some degree are a bit played out. We've seen so many of them recently. It's not really as a, uh, it, it's not really that, that unique to me. I've just seen too many of them. But regardless, I think this is fucking awesome. Okay. Uh, overall, uh, yeah, the set just subjectively is awesome, even though it has been repeated a bit too many times. This raid group is OP. 
Yeah, I, I feel the same way, man. I think that these guys have really put in a lot of work into these sets. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Are you kidding me? How do you keep getting in here? How do you keep getting into my competition every every week? Every it's the same guy. And he has a new fucking sex slave every week. Oh my god. Who is this guy? Oh my fucking god. He has a blindfolded male panda in a dress with a broken beer bottle. Holy shit. The gnome is power tripping? Dude, this guy, oh my, oh my god. <laughs> That's almost scary, dude. Oh my god, look at this. All right, so this guy's got the same set that he's always got on. There's nothing really too unique or special about this. I also have a mount. Oh, fuck. Let's see the mount. This points at the fucking panda. He just points at the fucking panda. I... It is a lot. Okay, let's just say that. That's a lot. Very, very creative. Um, I, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm, we have not seen this. Okay, there's one thing that you can definitely say about this competition is that they are creative. They are very, very, very creative. Now, whether that's a good thing or not is up to you, but this is definitely very creative, I would say, all right? Let's see here. Pulls this out. All right. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Now, gentlemen, we've seen this idiot too many times. I feel like this guy always comes in here with something that's pretty fucking unique, though, regardless of uh, how many times we've seen him. All right. Let's go ahead. We'll look around, gentlemen. Prepare yourselves. We're going to look and find our top five. Gentlemen, let's go. Asman forgot the mount. All right, what's the mount? Yeah. Nah. Need friends? You need a friend with a better mount, okay? Yeah, you need a friend with a better mount. All right, boys. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay. Let's see the mounts, boys. Dude, this is so hard to decide. What the fuck, dude? He's trying to steal that other guy's idea. Oh, no. Did his partner leave him? Oh, shit, dude. Bro, that's sad. Oh, Wait, yeah, it's you. That's you. Okay, there we go. I thought so. Yeah, you were the Malfurion one. Okay, that's not the set that they're actually using, okay? So don't worry too much about... Oh, my God. Okay. This is a hard fucking decision, guys. This is a really hard fucking decision. Oh my god. Okay. Let me let me go ahead and check pet. Many Mc Many McConnell. Okay, dude. That's good. Alright, let me go ahead. I'm gonna look around. Dude, I, I don't even know what to I, I I'm honestly so fucking 
Oh, this is so hard to decide. This is so fucking hard to decide, guys. Give me a second. I've got to write some of these down, okay? It's going to be top five, okay? It will be top five. Dude, I don't even fucking know, man. Like, this is so hard to decide. Like, it's just... Oh, my God, dude. Uh... Like, okay, all right, so... Dude, oh, man, it's just so... I, I'm struggling so much, man. Shit! Okay, uh... All right, I'm trying to write everything down. I'm trying to decide, okay? Give me a minute. There's like seven sets that I think are really, really good. I don't know how to cut the two out. I really don't know how to cut the two of them out. I I've got to go around and decide. Uh, yeah, let me go around and decide again. Alright, fuck, man. This is so hard. Do top seven? That's too many. That's, a that's too many, guys. That's too fucking many. Top seven? Alright, let's see what else we've got. Next. We will do two honorable mentions. How about that? Does two honorable mentions work, gentlemen? What do you guys think? Two honorable mentions? That's fine. Okay, good. Ah, uh, so it's just so hard to decide, man. Like, I, I'm struggling so much with this because there's just like, there's so many good sets and I just don't know, I, I just don't know what to look for, man. Like, the three on must get in. No, they're not winning because uh, they already went in with another competition, uh, another set. Uh, it's not going to happen. I mean, I'll just be honest right there. Okay. Just do top five, don't be weak. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'll do top five. Orgade, chill out. Okay. <laughs> one guy tried way harder than the other one. Okay, all right. So, we are going to the side here. All righty. Gentlemen, the top five for this competition will be as follows. Fifth place. Fifth place. This is a set that I've seen many times. I've been a little bit, a uh, little bit nervous about it. A little bit unsure about what the uh, decision is to make, but. This is my hardest decision. Fifth place is genuinely my hardest decision. Everything else, I think, has been pretty simple and pretty easy. But we are going to get fifth place, gentlemen. Fifth place is going to go to Sanex and Marzos. This set is amazing. Like, these complement each other so well. And, like, the undertones of the, uh, of the mount there fit perfectly well with the actual character models as well. I, I think this is absolutely one of the best sets in here, okay? And I will give my two or three other honorable mentions afterwards if you guys remind me. Now, what country are you guys from? Yeah, this is fucking amazing, man. I, I really, really like it a lot. What do you guys think? Did they make it first? Well, no, I think it's really good. Spectro Bounty Hunters, Lithuania, and from Germany. All right. Yeah, these are really, really good. Now, we'll go to the fifth, fourth place. Fourth place set. This competition is extremely hard to do. Some of these people came in here with some incredibly well done sets. Some people came in here with sets that made me question humanity. And some other people came in with sets that made me decide 
and make the hardest calls that I've probably ever had to do in my professional career as a transmog raider. But I do really believe that I'm making the right call whenever I say that fourth place should go to Leva and Korostov the Cursed with their Dark Moon transmog sets. I think this is incredibly well done. I like it a lot. Everything about it fits together. They have the toys, the mounts, and everything fits together with this set. Uh, both of them match together. There is a clear established theme. We have never had somebody use a transmog set like this before, at least not in my memory. And I'm very impressed by this a lot. This is a really, really good looking set. And I think that they absolutely deserve fourth place for it. Levon Korosov, what country are you guys from? Let's see what they say. Finland? All right. What about this guy? Kopiov? Kopiov? Is this uh, Russian, I'm assuming? Maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. Same? Okay, Finland. There you go, guys. All right. Well, uh, you know what? Congratulations on fourth place. Now, third place. Third place. Third place is a set that whenever I saw it, I thought to myself, ah, fuck. But the fact is that whenever I see this right here, this is one of the funniest, most meta transmog sets that I have ever fucking seen. And I think that they absolutely deserve third place for it. This is clever. It's funny. It's interesting. It's great. I love this set. I'm not, I'm not going to give a meme set first place, but I will very happily give it third place, and I think that it could have even deserved second. Second and third place is very, very hard for me to decide, but I think they're both really good, so I wanted to make sure that, uh, that they did get some credit. They deserve first, what the fuck? Well, regardless, I think you guys get to decide who is actually going to be first place, so don't worry about it too much. Greenward and uh, Twardmere, what country are you guys from? This is fucking amazing, guys. Like, I, I, I'm actually really impressed by this. What's the meme? This is the EU police arresting a uh, spy from uh, from an NA transmog comp. Brother, wait, the, oh, they're brothers from Poland. Damn. Damn, that's actually pretty fucking badass. That is really fucking badass. Awesome, man. All right, now we have second place. Second place is gonna go. Second place is going to go to Burly Boy 1 and Burly Boy 2. This set is uh, its aggressive. It's dangerous. It's powerful. It's imposing. Burly Lou, thank you. Don't mind our laugh, dude. Yeah, this is fucking amazing. Like, I, this is th th this is exactly what you like to see in a duo transmog competition. Like, a, a group of, uh, of two guys that just fit together so well. It tells a story. It looks good. The transmogs independently are very well done. Everything about this is perfect. I love it, man. Great fucking job. I once rolled a 7 in your EU longboy run. Uh, yeah, that sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. All right, what country are you guys from? Yeah, what country are you guys from? What the fuck? Second, really? Yeah, I think this is really good. From the Netherlands, we're BFFs. So live about 15 minutes apart from each other. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. That's badass. All right. Congratulations, gentlemen. And now for first place. The greatest and best set is Marlua and Entroa. This is one of the best sets that I've ever seen and the best duo transmog sets uh, ever. Like, this is fucking amazing. Uh, I absolutely love this. It's incredibly well done. Everything about it fits together. The story that it tells is phenomenal. We've never had somebody do this before with hammering on the anvil. At the beginning, people thought that it was dog shit, and then the story manifested itself, and people fucking loved it. 
This is an incredibly well done set. This, it's just, it's, this is exactly what we were looking forward to seeing, right? This is the creativity that you don't always get whenever you look at these different competitions. And you've seen so many people with these incredibly creative sets. Like these are fucking amazing. You even got Discount Agrimar and fucking Argus over there. These are really, really good, guys. Great fucking work. Now, I want to talk about my honorable mentions. And winners can go up to the top and get ready. I'm going to go ahead and have the voting, and I'll let the chat decide what the uh, what the true winner is. I will, I'll ask their country whenever we get up to the top. This is an honorable mention right here. I like this set a lot. I thought it was very clever and very funny. This set also is a very, very hard decision for me to make a decision against. Um, I, I like it a lot. Honestly, I feel like this is very, very clean. Uh, there's not really a lot of synergy in terms of this set in terms besides just the fact that there's just like similar color combos but i do like it a lot let's see over here these guys were probably going to be these guys would have been fifth place if i didn't pick the other ones this was probably the hardest decision i had to make was do these guys deserve fifth place or not and i'm still not even sure that i made the right decision but regardless i think i made a decision and these guys did a great job in the set in the competition i mean Let's see. These were okay. I didn't really think this was that great, though. And this was just disgusting. And I think these were like this set right here. This would win in a normal competition because of how clean and well put together it is. But because there was such high competition in this one, it ended up not winning. And these were really funny, too. All right, gentlemen. Are you ready to pick the winners? Are you ready? Let's go on up there, and uh, we'll see what we've got. All right, chat, you guys are going to have the chance to decide who the winner of the transmog competition truly is. So let me go ahead. I'm going to get a straw poll up if you guys want to just get over here. And uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, um, what country are you guys from? Yeah, before I forget, what country are you guys from? Poland? Yo, what is, dude? Everybody here is from Poland. Holy shit. God damn. All right, boys. Uh, let's go ahead and make it a little bit. Uh, let's go. Let's get a little bit closer together so I can get everybody on the screen so it's not zoomed out as much. And uh, then you guys will be able to, uh, I'll be able to start doing the straw poll and uh, get this together. So uh, let's do straw poll right here. And where the hell is it? There it is. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, and guys, don't be in front of me or anything like that. So that way, chat has the option to really be able to make the best and most informed and educated uh, decision possible here, okay? Very important to do. All right. Chat, who won? You guys right now will have the option to vote and decide who the true winner of this competition is. Now, before I let you vote, I'm going to go ahead and take one little, uh, little peek around. And then after that, I'll open up the poll. And then I'll just go back and forth so you guys can make the decision. This is the sets, guys. Remember, make your decision wisely and intelligently. Vote for the correct set. Delaria, uh, if you want to move away, that way they get a, an idea of pretty much what's going on. Okay, yeah. I, I just I want to make sure that they get like the fairest shake possible, you know? Okay. Boys. I'm about to take a piss, and then I'll be right back, and we'll decide. Uh, if you guys can keep linking to Paul, and uh, then we'll go. What the hell is going on? What the fuck is this? What the hell are you guys doing? Get the hell, get that, get that, get, get out of here. Get out of the way. Okay, all right. Give me a minute. Let's see. Get out, get the, bean it, get the, it's a quit it. Quit it. All right, guys, listen up. We're going to go ahead, and uh, I'm going to take a look at the poll. All right, boys, and the winner is, by the chat's decision, of the first ever EU Alliance Duo Transmog Competition, the winner is, the engineer said. I like it. So wait a minute. So that means that everybody voted basically exactly the way that I made the decision, minus the Spectral Riders and the Dark Moon set. So they actually agreed with my top three. Damn, yo, boys. You guys are smart. 
Look at that. Yeah, good job, guys. Great job. Boys. You've done very well. You've done absolutely well. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of everybody in here. Except for the people that are trying to get on the screen and on the frame. If you guys want to message me, I will try to get the fan art done for your characters semi-soon. I understand that I have been very late on this for a number of weeks. I apologize for that. It is coming. It will happen. I've just been very busy with other things and preoccupied. Months. It's been a long fucking time. Well, it's still going to happen, guys. Don't, don't worry, all right? It's still going to happen. Boys. Great fucking job today. Amazing fucking job today. This is one of the toughest transmog competitions that I've ever had to rate. Did you wash your hands? Why would I wash my hands? I got a clean dick. What is this here? Oh, shit. Look at that. I want a girl to look at me the same way Asmon looks at good transmogs. Damn, boys. That's really- that's every Cloud Serpent in the game, minus the Gladiator ones. Holy fuck! Gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching today, I really fucking appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. So until next time, boys. So until next time, boys. Thank you all so much.